Shalom, shalom, first and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, the Kakadash, and the one who the great millstone while I truth, and also to the whole elect that is scattered abroad. I like to say, shalom, and come back here today with another great, powerful lesson through the spirit of power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the type of big lesson is obey the voice of the Lord. So I like to say, shalom, to all that is to learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness. Back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, and not about the one that is being obedient, that is the elect, the one that's constantly walking in the path of right, constantly doing the Lord's will each and every day, believing the Lord. We fear the Lord, we love the Lord, and not about we waiting and hasten his great and glorious return, and not about we hearkening to the words of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? He said, What? My sheep hear my voice and follow me. Who is that? These are the what? Are the elect, the house of day, the prophet and the true believers of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh We were in the end time. And not about, you know, it's time to what? To repent and come back to what? To your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh And also the two thirds, they're constantly being what? That rebellious house that did not want to return. They constantly what? What being what? Disobedient. And out of body, you know what I'm saying? They're getting ready to be destroyed on this side. And out of body, they don't believe. They constantly despise and mock it. But out of body, it is getting ready to be a thing of the past. The Lord is getting ready to return. And out of body, we cannot wait. So rejoice in heaven. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is obey the voice of the Lord. So we get started. And I hope that you get edified by the day lesson. A very quick lesson through the spirit of power of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh So we get started with a quick precept. Let's go to John chapter uh, 10 and verse 27. We start up here. This, uh, it's this red letter, this is Yahweh Shah speaking. Uh, John chapter 10, one moment, John chapter 10 and verse 27. And it reads, said, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Verse 28, and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Verse 29, my father which gave them me is greater than all and no man shall be able to pluck them out of my father's hand. Verse 30, I and, and my father are one. And I about to hate, you know what I'm saying? Can no one pluck us out of the hands of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai? And I about to, you know what I'm saying? The Lord already know his own. He already know uh, who is the elect. And I about to, he already know that he's going to hear his voice. We're friends of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, constantly doing his will each and every day, doing things that's what pleasing to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, out in the highways and Bible, sighing and crying left and right, making these videos. And I about constantly what? Prophesy. So it's a high time to prophesy. Warn, you no, know, he said, warn my what? Sheep for me. What did he tell Peter? He told Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep. And I about it, hey, do his sheep, you know what I'm saying? We hear his voice. And we constantly doing his will each and every day through the spirit and the power of Yahweh. We're what? We're living in the last days. And out about it, it is high time once again to prophesy. And out about it, we are here. It is at the door, the kingdom of heaven. It is at hand. So now, let's start back up. Let's go to uh, one moment. Let's go to uh, get another, let's get a quick precept. Let's go to uh, Exodus one moment. Exodus chapter 23. Exodus chapter 23 and verse 22, if I'm not mistaken. One moment. Uh, Exodus chapter 23 and verse 22. It said, But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then will I, then uh, will be and so like, let's start over. Uh, Exodus chapter 23 and verse 22. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thy enemies and a, a adversary unto thy adversary. And I about you know, the Lord will fight for us. And I about you know, whoever's an enemy to us will be also be an enemy to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And I about the Lord will keep us safe. And I about so, so we're coming upon that perilous time, which in fact is what? It's checking trouble. The Lord said what? He will protect us. He will sustain us. You know what I'm saying? And he will provide for us in those times of trouble. And I about we're waiting on what? That great deliverance that only come from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because we what? We hearken to his voice. We listen to his voice. And I about we let the Lord what? Lead us. Guide us, you know what I'm saying? Lean not on your own understanding, but trust and believe in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. He is the only way and the only answer. And I about we cannot wait. Who? The Lord said, hey, walk ye in it. And I about you know, he is the way. Who? The truth, the way, and the life. And I about hey, we are here. It is at the door. We are very excited. Because what? 
the, the signs of the times are all around. We're seeing, you know, all of the things are just, just lining up like clock. We still have a lot of people still what? still don't have the faith, still uh, are not believing. Not about, you know, we're not even worried about it. All the unfaithful, what, shall die in what? In the unfaithful because what? They did not believe. They did not what? Hawking to the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And not about it. They're getting ready to what? To die. That's why the Lord said, well, either they will what? Hear or either they will what? Forbear. You know what I'm saying? They're turning back. On a true power, which in fact is Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And that's about, hey, these Bible prophets are coming to life, left and right. The end is being manifest right before our eyes. And that's about, who we are here. It is at the door. And that's about, the Lord is getting ready to bring that judgment. And that's about, hey, we come to warn you, left and right. So now, let's go to a one moment. Let's go to Romans. Romans chapter 8, one moment. Just a quick lesson through the Spirit. Uh, Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8 and verse 28. We'll start there. Romans chapter 8 and verse 28. <clears throat> and it reads, For whom he did uh, for, uh, foreknew, he also did uh, predest predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might uh, be the first firstborn among many brothers. Now that's talking about the, uh, the elect, the prophets. Uh, let's start back up. Uh, verse 30 said, Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And who he called, them he also justified. And, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. Verse 31. What shall we then say uh, to these things? If, if uh, the Almighty be for us, who can be against us? And I about no one. And I about no one can stand against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You can't do nothing uh, uh, against the truth, but for the truth. And I about it. we constantly doing this with. We constantly listen to the voice each and every day. You know, we listen to what? To the Spirit. The Holy Spirit is guiding us. And I about it. You know, it's being that what? That light and all of this darkness and all of this wickedness. And I about it. the Lord is with us. And I about it. we were what? pre day. And I about it. we were what? what? The first fruit among many what? Brothers, not about those are the what the elect, you know what I'm saying? The true believers of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And we we hoping that we are part of the whole elect, the 144 mighty men. And I about we cannot wait. That spiritual power right around the corner, immortality, rulership, spiritual power. Because we what we listening, we obeying, you know what I'm saying? We coming under what total subjection to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. We repent. That means that we what we, we, we what return. And not about we are what working out our own salvation. We what. Fear and trim because we what we fear the Lord, we love the Lord, and not about we hasten his great and glorious return. Obey the voice of the Lord, and not about we coming under that what total uh, 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 obedience, total suggestion, and not about no letting the Lord guide us. You know what I'm saying? Not about we put our what we put our life in his hands, and not about who because we knowing that that is the way. So now let's go to uh, one moment, let's go to Matthew's one moment, Matthew chapter 7, Matthew chapter 7. One moment. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 13. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 13. One moment. And it reads, red letters again, Yahweh shall speak it. Uh, Matthew chapter 7 and verse 13 said, Enter ye in, in the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Verse uh, 14. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that findeth it. So a lot of people will not take the straight gate because they don't want to come under that obedience. They don't want to have those levels of what? Adversity, you know, them trials and great tribulation. They don't want to get what? It's tried, it's gold, it's tried and fire. But everybody is getting ready to be tried. And I about the only one that will walk that straight gate is what? The elect, because we what? We obey the voice of the Lord. And I about, and also the two thirds, they want that broad gate. They're not listening to the Lord, you know. They're not listening, they're not uh, hearing, they're not, uh, 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 showing no type of what concern they not considering and I did about that but in that time of trouble the Lord said they shall seek me early but they shall not find me because what they did not obey the voice of the Lord and I did about when the Lord called them what they did not ask they turned their back on a true power which in fact was Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh he's the only way in the amen he's the only way in the only house and I did about if, if the Lord is not dealing with you 
you will be totally destroyed. And about anyone that's not what's seeking the Lord, which in fact are the two thirds, they're not listening. They're not considering. And everybody they constantly want to play game. We're right here at the end. World War Three. You know what I'm saying? This global reset. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things are coming down the pipeline. Great what? Great depth. Great mourning. Great persecution. And I about, but they want that broad gate that will lead to what? Death and destruction. And I about here. We are here. It is at the door. Either you would hear. Out of you will forbear, out of you choose life, or you choose death. Obey the voice of the Lord. So now, let's, uh, one moment. Let's go to uh, uh, St. John chapter 14. St. John chapter 14 and verse 21. St. John chapter 14. One moment. St. John chapter 14. St. John chapter 14 and verse 21. St. John chapter 14 and verse 21. One moment. <clears throat> St. John chapter uh, 14, once again, and verse 21. And it reads, said, he that has, has my commandments and keepeth them, uh, he is, he, it is that uh, loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved by, shall, shall be loved of my father, and I love, love him, and will manifest myself in him, the elect. Uh, <clears throat> I drop down to uh, verse uh Verse 23, and it reads, said, Yahweh shall answer and say unto him, if, if a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and, and we will come unto him and, and make our abode with him. Verse 24, he that loveth me, uh, uh, Salak, verse 24 again, he that loveth me not, keepeth not my sins, and, and the words which uh, ye hear is not not mine, but the Father which uh, which sent me. Verse 27, these things have I spoken to you, being yet uh, present with you. Verse 26, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things in your remembrance of uh, whatsoever I have said unto you. Verse uh, 27, peace I leave with you. Uh, make peace I give unto you, not as the uh, world gives, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And I about it, you know, said the Lord is guiding us through the what? Through the Holy Spirit. And I about it, know, we constantly believe the Lord. We constantly being spiritual. You know what I'm saying? We constantly are uh, uh, building our faith each and every day. We constantly are uh, 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 getting more and more uh, uh, closer to that great and glorious turn of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. So our faith is what constantly increased. And I about we cannot wait. You know what I'm saying? Our light is what is shining. You know what I'm saying? Each and every day through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. The two thirds they would not hawk it. You know what I'm saying? They would not listen. They don't have that covering. And I about they are naked. And I about they will be destroyed. And I about hey, we constantly warn you left and right. And I about wisdom and knowledge shall be the what the stability of the time and out about it, you know what I'm saying that's why it's peace is with us we got a sound mind when these times of trouble come a stable mind and out about because we what we trust and believe in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh so we letting that what the Holy Spirit guide us and out about it, we constantly doing this we're feeding his sheep the best of our ability if the Lord had given you uh, 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 some money which in fact a talent you know what I'm saying to uh, to use you know what I'm saying whatever ability that he have given you Use it the best of your ability. Because we're living in the end time. The ceiling of the let and we out of here. And out of the Bible, if the Lord put the spirit on you to go out in the house of the Bible, do his will each and every day. Listen to the voice of the Lord. The spirit and the power of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh. So we would get there. We almost to the finish line. We got to keep pushing. Keep fighting. We almost there. And out of the we're in a spiritual world. Warfare right now. And out of the Bible, hey, we already know that what? The victory is out, says the Lord. Woo! The kingdom of heaven. It is at hand. So now, let's uh, let's get a quick precept. Let's go to uh, Revelation chapter 2. We'll start up around verse uh, 25. Uh, Revelation chapter 2 and verse 25. One moment. And it reads, said, but, but that which ye uh, have already, hold fast till I come. Verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto, unto the end, to him will I give power over the nation. Verse 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessel of a potter's uh, shall they be broken to, sh to shivers even as I receive of my father. 
And out of the body, that's what we're waiting on. What that rulership, immortality, spiritual power. And out of the body, hold fast what you have. You know what? This wisdom, this not the portion that the Lord has given you. Believe. You know what I'm saying? You know, fear the Lord. And out of the body, you know, ask the Lord to increase you. What well, with faith, increase you in this what? In this great wisdom and not. And out of the body, you know, constantly meditate day and night. You know what I'm saying? Constantly what? Hawking to the what? To the voice of the Lord. Be under what? Obedience. Be under subjection to your house. By Hashem, how shall constantly do his will, do things that is pleasing to him. You know what I'm saying? Warn, warn the sheep, you know what I'm saying? Whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. As the Lord put the spirit, go out in the highways and byways and stand up boldly in the face of your oppressor. And out of the body, we got to get the job done. Because out of the body, the Lord is getting ready to return. The Lord said, I behold, I come quickly and my reward is with. Whoo, we cannot wait. The Lord is getting ready to return. And out of the body, your, your labor of love is what? It's not in vain. Lord will remember you. You know what I'm saying? And out of the body, we cannot wait. What? That is the elect. The Lord has come back for his friend, his family. And out of the body, we cannot wait. The kingdom of heaven, it is almost at hand. Whoo, we cannot wait. So now, let's go to all. Uh, let's go to Jeremiah. Quick precept before we close out. Jeremiah chapter uh, 7 and verse 23. Jeremiah chapter 7 and verse 23. One moment. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 7 and verse 23. And it read, it says, um, said, but uh, this thing commanded uh, I them. So like, let's start over. Jeremiah chapter 7 and verse 23. But this thing commanded I them, saying, obey my voice, and I will be your power, and ye shall be my people. And walk ye uh, in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well unto you. And I, that's all we must do. Constantly, what? Hawking to the words of the Lord. Listen to the Lord's voice. And I about let the what the spirit guide you. And I about you know in the in, in, in the path of what? Of righteousness. And I about we're what seeking what eternal life, what salvation, rulership, spiritual power. And I about we want to see all our enemies get laid down. And I about hey, we we ready for what our final rest. And I about hey, the world without end. We we are very close. We're in this transition of power. We're seeing that the end is being manifest right before our eyes. We're seeing that the Lord is visiting the earth that he created. The Lord is doing a mighty work. We are very excited. We're constantly rejoicing. We're at the end of all our affliction. And I about hey, whoo, in that day, they shall know that he is the Lord. So now, let's go to our last and final strip. We close out in uh, uh, Baruch chapter uh, 4. One moment. Baruch chapter 4. And we'll close out here. Baruch chapter 4 and chapter 1. One moment. Baruch chapter 4, and we'll start at the top at 1. Uh, and it reads, it, uh, This is the book uh, of the commandments of the Almighty and the law that endures forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. And out about the one that keeping it is what? The elect. What is that book? That is the what? The Bible. This wisdom. It's knowledge, it's understanding. And I about the light that only comes from what? Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. And I about come back in what? In that great marvelous light. Woo, we cannot wait. Listen to the voice of the Lord. Obey the Lord. Walk in the path to rights to each and every day. Do things that's pleasing. And that all your getting, get understanding. Woo, we cannot wait. We're almost here. Let's read that again. Baruch chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of, of the Almighty. And the law that endures uh, forever, all they that keep it shall come to life, the elect. But such as leave it shall die, the two-third. Verse uh, 2, turn thee, O Jacob, or Israel, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou may be illuminated. Woo! And I didn't buy That's that wisdom and knowledge that only come from your house. By Shem Yahweh Shah. The Lord, what is the light of the world? And out about we are the light of the world. Cause we we follow the Lord. We listen to the voice of the Lord. We coming on what the obedience, that subjection. And out about you know so we constantly are leaning on His understanding, not our own. And out about we believe. And out about we walking by faith and not by sight. And out about we will get there. And out about the Lord said the victory is ours. And out about the kingdom of heaven, it is almost at hand. You know what I'm saying? Out about we seeing that you know hey. These Bible prophecies are jumping out the pages left and right. At the end, it shall speak and not lie. And I'd about do it, Terry. Wait for it. It shall surely come. So that about, I hope that you got edified by the, uh, today's lesson. So the title of today's lesson, once again, 
is uh, obey the voice of the Lord. So I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekha Kadash. I like to say, Shalom, Shalom.